What's going on guys? Welcome back to Embroidery Hub. In case you missed it, I taught you how to digitize a stunning applique design on a custom puff jacket in last week's episode. Today, we're gonna find out if our hard work paid off as we're gonna embroider our custom designs on our puff jacket. I'll take you through the entire embroidery process, including what materials you'll need, how to apply your applique fabric to your jacket, and how to make your stitches stand out against puffy fabric. And be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'll also tell you how much profit you stand to make embroidering a jacket just like this. But before we get started, if you like this video or enjoy content like this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Let's start by taking a look at the materials we'll use for this project. We'll need a blank puffer jacket, a 13 by 16 Mighty Hoop, a 5.5 inch Mighty Hoop, water soluble topping, 3.5 ounce cutaway stabilizer, 7511 embroidery needles, and embroidery thread. I'll also be using the MT1501 15 needle commercial embroidery machine. This machine is perfect for tackling a variety of embroidery projects and multicolored designs. If you're interested in learning more about the MT1501, click the link in the card above or the description below to speak with one of our product specialists today. Now that we've digitized our design, it's time to start embroidering. Let's start with our first design, applique. First, I'm gonna hoop and insert my garment. The Mighty Hoop makes hooping super easy. Then I'm going to lay my applique fabric over my embroidery area. After that, I'm going to upload my design into my machine using the intuitive touchscreen panel. If you missed last week's episode and are interested in learning how to digitize a design just like this one, I'll leave a link to the video in the card above and the description below. Next, I'll embroider my first run stitch. This will create the basic shape of my letters and tack down my fabric to my jacket. Once that's done, I'll cut away my excess fabric. Now, this is not the only way to apply applique to a garment. You can also embroider a trace stitch on your fabric by cutting out your applique design, embroidering a placement stitch on your garment, placing your applique material on the border of your placement stitch, and then tacking it down with your tack down stitch. This alternative method requires a few more steps, but allows you to cut your applique fabric closer to the edge. It also reduces the risk of puncturing your garment and losing registration. I used this method when I recently embroidered a Letterman jacket. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll leave a link to it in the card above in the description below. Once I'm done cutting away my excess fabric, I will let my machine finish embroidering the border of my applique design. Let's move on to our second design, the large back. First, I will place water soluble stabilizer over the jacket. This will help flatten my puffer jacket and keep my stitches from sinking as I embroider my designs. Now I'm going to embroider the rest of my design. And now let's take off our water soluble stabilizer. Make sure to also take it off from the small letters. You can use a pair of mermaid scissors or if you have tweezers, you can use those as well. Now that my design on the back is finished, it's time to embroider my left chest logo on the front. 
First, I will place the bottom portion of my Mighty Hoop. Then I will add my 3.5 ounce stabilizer. I will add my water soluble stabilizer and then hoop it with my Mighty Hoop. First, I will do my trace. This trace is just to make sure that my design will follow within the parameters of the hoop. And then I'm gonna do my contour trace. And my contour trace will show me exactly where my design is gonna stitch. So we're also gonna make sure that when the design is done, we're gonna remove the water soluble and also take extra care on the small letters. Once again, mermaid scissors or a pair of tweezers work perfectly in this situation. And with that, our puffer jacket is officially embroidered. Now that we've finished customizing our puffer jacket, let's discuss our profit potential. We bought our blank jacket online for around $23. Our applique fabric cost us $8 per yard. For this project, we used about $3. Along with roughly $3 worth of stabilizer, topping, and other embroidery materials used, our all-in cost is $29. However, once embroidered, we can easily sell a jacket like this with the left chest logo alone for around $78. With the custom design on the back, we can easily sell this jacket for over $100. That's a profit margin of over 71%. All right, that's it for today. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next embroidery project or to get some more decorating advice, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery group. If you haven't done so already, follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like to see in a future episode of Embroidery Hub. And remember, if you missed part one where I show you how to digitize this awesome design, I'll leave a link to the video in the card above in the description below. Thanks again for watching this special two-part episode, and I'll see you next time.